Hello guys, it's Elsie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna make a quick video today. I'm gonna show you my top five, my top favorite, it's my top five favorite celebrity perfumes from all time. So I feel like I already knew which ones are my, literally my top five I will always have in my collection. So let's start with the video already, but first subscribe to my channel. I always post every Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So three times a week right now so definitely subscribe like this video comment down below follow me on instagram and start with the video right okay i'm gonna try to put them in order but this two right here that i have they were so freaking hard to do to decide which one was top number one because i feel like this two like this first two that i'm gonna show you are definitely like top number one so i have no freaking idea which one to show you but I guess I'm gonna show you this one. This one is Miami Glow by JLo. Queen, definitely queen, Latina, mwah, chef's kiss. She's hot, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, she's just a queen. So this one has to be number one, I feel. And I love the bottle. I love the little flip-flop going on. So the notes for this one are passion fruit, coconut milk, and pink grapefruit, orange blossom, cyclamen, and hello trope vanilla musk and amber this one was actually my first celebrity perfume from all time really my favorite and it was my first celebrity perfume ever i feel like maybe it was my first perfume ever like literally ever owning like a real perfume this one was my first one i wasn't i didn't have fantasy by britney spears like most of most of the girls like around like no like i was i didn't have that one this one was definitely my very first one so many memories when i smell this one this one it's really beachy like i just every time i wear it i just want to go to a freaking beach i've been in miami three times and i feel like this is how i will love to smell when i go like every time i go i wear because I like to smell a certain way when I go to a certain place. And every time I go, I say Coco Manmasue by Chanel. And that perfume literally reminds me of Miami. But I feel like if I go again, like for the fourth time, I will literally take this one. Because this is fun, fruity, coconutty, vanilla cocktails. Like on the beach, partying at the beach. This is summer all the freaking way. This is carefree. This is really, really sweet. It just reminds me of a bunch of cocktails. Like sweet cocktails and alcoholic drinks and just like having fun and carefree this one has to be definitely my favorite one like it just owns my freaking heart and not only like favorite celebrity perfume but one of my most favorite perfumes in general like this one it's like the love of my life and i freaking love this one so so much okay so like i said i wasn't i was in between this one or the first one that i show you miami glow it's paris hilton by paris hilton this one i think it's the original one i have no idea but this one it's the one with the pink and black strip lines going on i love the freaking packaging it's so pretty like if you were a popular girl in middle school you would literally wear this one at least in my middle school i feel like everybody will wear this one and this one was really popular back in the day so funny because this one was actually my second celebrity perfume that i've ever owned and it's actually my second i guess i don't know maybe my top or my second favorite celebrity perfume ever the notes for this one are melon apple and peach Freesia, Mimosa, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Lily, and Tuberose, Musk, Ylang Ylang, Sandalwood, and Oak Moss. So, if I haven't said this already, I was a party wild teenager ever since I was 15 years old. This is what I literally will wear every time I will go to a party or clubbing. At freaking 15, 16 years old, and I will wear this one. This one brings back so many freaking memories like i'm just obsessed with this one like i get all the notes at once on this perfume it's really perfumey and i cannot like point one single note because it's this really sweet floral but fruity type of perfume it really just reminds me of going out parting out flirty sexy this one is really really sexy and really really flirty like i'm obsessed with this one every time i wear it i just want to go out somewhere and it gives me those vibes it like puts me in this mode of like going somewhere like right now i don't go clubbing anymore but right now if i wear it i would love to go and grab drinks definitely because it just puts me in that mood and i don't hear a lot of people talking about that one 
but it's definitely my favorite celery perfume from all time and you should totally try it because it's chef's kiss so this one it's definitely my third favorite celery perfume from all time it's also by Paris Hilton this is Tease by Paris Hilton and this is how the bottle looks like which is the purple one really really simple this one has a notes of red apple peach bergamot tuberose jasmine frangipani sun woodsy notes and amber the amount of compliments i get with this one i get just literally i feel like paris hilton always creates this really like a compliment getter type of perfumes and i feel like she always creates this like going out type of perfume. I got this one like a lot older. This one I got since middle school I think since I was 15 years old and this one I got I got it later I think in high school so obviously in high school I will go out as well. This is what I will wear all the way to college really and this one I will literally still wear to go out like this reminds me when I used to go clubbing, go bar hopping and mainly on the winter time I will wear this one. I don't know why to me I feel like there are, like, both of these are a year round of fragrances, but I don't know why I wear this one more during the winter time. This is a very sweet floral, really, really perfumey, in my opinion, as well. And mainly, I get tuberose, like a lot of tuberose in here, but it's really, really sexy. This sexy, clean tuberose, sweet floral type of perfume. It has like a clean aspect, and I feel like the tuberose always gives this clean aspect to it. Literally, girls have freaking stopped me to ask me which perfume I'm wearing, and it's literally a celery perfume, but you will think I'm wearing like a high-end perfume. I feel like because this is like a really elegant, sexy, going out, like long coat, like I literally wear this one and I want to wear a long coat heels type of perfume. I love this one so much. It makes me feel elegant, powerful, sexy, going out. It puts me in the mood as well. This one has to be my favorite and definitely try it. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this one and it's so, so freaking good. Okay, so my fourth favorite has to be Sofia by Sofia Vergara. And this is how the bottle looks like, which I love how clean and sleek it looks. This one, obviously, Sofia Vergara, she's a queen, she's Latina, she's gorgeous, she's hot she's literally so hot and so beautiful so the notes for this one are blackberry plum currant buds orchid rose the violet woodsy notes vanilla and sunwood if you wear this one i feel like people will literally think you're wearing a high-end perfume this doesn't even smell like a delivery perfume a lot of people have been comparing this one to why do i always forget this name and it's literally my favorite perfume from all time uh, Coco Marmosuel by Chanel. They've been comparing this one to that one, but I feel like it also gives me Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf Fives. I feel like it's in the same family as how elegant boss vibes like it gives me major boss vibes elegant so maybe to go to the office or go grab drinks like this is like to take out on a date night event this is a very sweet floral very very perfumey type of scent it's sophisticated it's womanly it's gorgeous it's classy juicy sweet but it also has this clean aspect i feel but it's mostly really really sweet and really sexy like it gives me sexy but classy elegant elegant womanly vibes and i'm obsessed with this one it doesn't smell like a celery perfume like i said they're really chef's kiss this one will always be in my collection i'm obsessed i'm obsessed my last favorite i guess my fifth favorite top favorite celery perfume obviously has to be rihanna rebel i think that's the name of it i think it's rebel by rihanna and it's i think it's the original one so it's the one with the black line i think it's rebel fleur i think by rihanna this one has notes of peach plum red berries coconut tuberose hibiscus violet vanilla patchouli musk and amber this one is one of my most sexy super super sexy type of perfumes ever like this is sexiness in a bottle i feel like i mainly get patchouli with vanilla and some florals in there very warm mysterious carefree lost vibes very grown womanly type of perfume this is sexy in a freaking bottle this is to go out and date and have a sexy night get so much sexiness from this perfume like this will be 
something I'll wear on Valentine's Day or to have a sexy night and stuff like that. I'm freaking obsessed and this has to be my number five top seller perfume from all time. All right, so that's pretty much it for my top five seller perfumes from all time. It wasn't that hard, I feel. I have so many seller perfumes at this point, like I said, and I've smelled so many as well. And for me to choose this top five definitely says a lot. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Definitely subscribe. I post every Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays three times a week so definitely subscribe like this video comment down below which ones are your top celery perfumes definitely let me know down below also follow me on Instagram and I really hope to see you in my next video bye Mwah.